It's okay. Okay, like a what out of ten? Like a seven out of ten. For just the looks and everything. I just don't like the body. What's up, boys? This is episode two of Roast and Rigs. The first video, real jaunty. Let me give the guy a quick shout out. <clears throat> the first video, truck was sent to us by real jaunty. This video is also one of his trucks. He sent two of them. Let's see what we got. It's a weird smell. Starting with the body, obviously, we have a stock gladiator body. Well, At least he painted it, it's not a stock color, and he added a 3D printed little bed cap, and he even glued windows into the little bed cap. I think because of those things, the stock body is okay. It's certainly not ideal, but it's painted, has some accessories. Once again, first thing I notice is the wiring. This is one of John T's strong points, I can tell. Might be his only strong point. Actually, just to com just to compare real quick. I'll give you a quick look at my wiring compared to his. So, you know, it's it's not awful. Let's see what else we got. Little Guy Racing Super 8s in black. Little Guy Racing Brass Knuckles. We have brass hex extensions. 3 Flow 9 RC roller steering link. 3 Flow 9 RC servo horn. I believe this diff, rear diff slider is also 3 Flow 9 RC. Looks like we have 6 carbon fiber links. I think they're Fure Tech brand. I'm pretty sure they're the only ones that make the carbon fiber links. And then on the rear lowers, we have double bends. These look to be made by Clap24s on Instagram. They have the same little teeth markings that mine have. And they're a bit loose because his pivot bells are too big, giving them some slop. Wheels. Mayo's Design Wheels. P 
paired with gold JEC slash flub beadlock rings. And then on top of that, he has the original Maus design rings. So he's actually running two beadlock rings on this, which makes for a super cool look. I like that a lot. Tires, J-Concept, ruptures. These are very good tires. I recommend them. Inside. Yeah, flubber stuffers, front and the rear. Reefs 99 Micro Brass Servo chassis. This is a Dragonfly. I believe this might be a V2 Dragonfly. This is sold by a guy named Haunter on Instagram. Hot Racing Oil Shocks. Furitec. Um, Furitec ESC slash radio combo thing. Mofo RC motor, the new one. I believe the motor is supposed to be the in-between between the purple and the orange one. Looks like stock transmission, stock drive shafts. The front drive shaft has been cut to fit, that's okay. Uh, he's missing a screw in the front drive shaft. I got you. Good deal. <clears throat> what else do we have here? So right off the bat, the chassis, it has a ton of clearance down here, especially with the double bend links. It looks like he cut the chassis because his motor was hitting it. That's also okay. He has eight of these little guy racing light sockets around the truck with no actual lights, so I'm glad he did that. I hate the way this looks. John T, I'm sorry, but this thing... Let me see if you guys can see what I'm seeing. Back looks okay. Look at the front. This, I feel like the tire should be out, like, here. That may, it reminds me of somebody that's like, that. Uh, he's also running the three, the three front magnet set up again. He's got a magnet, a spacer magnet, and then another magnet. I'm not sure why, because the front already sits too high. Uh, I bet it was rubbing too much when he steered. Jaunty. What is this thing? I realized why it looks awful in the front. Look. This is a gladiator wheelbase, okay? Yep. How can I show this? This is a gladiator wheelbase. Right there's Jaunty. He's running a gladiator body. It has a bunch of good parts on it. This might be This might be fine with a different body. I don't know what wheelbase this is. This is not a Gladiator wheelbase. I had a feeling that Jaunty was messing with me. Thought maybe he swapped the links out to see if I was on my game and then I would catch that. So, I went digging through his Instagram. I looked at when he first started posting this thing. Look at what I found. He strategically posts an awesome shot of the back to hide the front end. 
he named this build Sub-Zero. I think right now we officially changed the name to Subpar. I think that means below average. If I'm wrong on the meaning, let's not name it that. It's about 140 degrees out today, and because of that, I'm just going to hit up the indoor testing facility to see how this thing does. <clears throat> let's go test it. Okay, right off the bat, <clears throat> this is a hard rock to get up, and it seems like it did it no problem. Let's try it straight on. Yeah, that's pretty good compared to a lot of mine. They seem to, it doesn't look like much in video, but they seem to really struggle at this spot. Yeah, that does it easily. Still having some of the same throttle issue where I can it doesn't engage until like almost right at the end and now I understand it might need some tuning on my app um, but since this isn't mine I don't want to mess with any of that
final thoughts on this stinker. It has a bunch of great parts on it. Um, where do I even start? Let's start. Let's start with the good stuff. Jaunty, your wiring is very good. I wish all of mine looked like this. That's the only good thing. Now, he has a flat skid plate with bolts sticking an inch out of it, so that's just going to catch. It still does not drive smoothly, much like his other one. I see people in the comments saying about the gear meshing being too tight or it needing tuned with the app. I understand all of that, and it's good advice for him. Um, I'm going to hold off on messing with anybody's truck just because it's not mine. Without the body, this thing is much better. It still doesn't drive smoothly. Also, it seems like once again under load, it wants to it wants to bind. Is that what I'm looking for? Yeah, I feel like it just loses its oomph when it gets to, I don't know, I've really never experienced a truck like either of his before, I've always been used to mine. If you guys have trucks that drive like this, you're doing something wrong. I don't quite know what's wrong, but something's wrong. Now, on to the big issue. He's got a gladiator body on whatever wheelbase this is. This is... It's not good, Jaunty. The wheels. I love the wheels. The double stacked rings look super cool. Good job on that, and good job on the wiring. Overall, scale 1 to 10. I don't even know what to rate this thing. It could easily be a lot better. Okay, 1 to 10 for the looks. Below average. It's not awful. I do like that he painted the body. It's a pretty cool color. I like the little accessory 3D printed bed cap. Wheels look good. Um, performance on a scale 1 to 10. I think it's good. If it would just drive smoothly, which was the problem with his other one. Speaking of his other one, I mentioned that I, it felt heavy to me. Let me weigh these for you guys. Lindsay? Can you get me the scale? Let's see what these guys weigh. This, this is his other truck he sent. It was in the first episode. I had mentioned that it felt very heavy to me compared to some of mine. And I thought that may have been a hindrance. I think that's the word. Let's see how heavy it is. Five forty-eight grams. What do you guys think? Is that heavy? I don't know. It feels heavy to me. Let's check this one. This one feels a bit lighter. Four ninety-nine grams. While we're here, let's compare this to one of mine. This is one of my very capable trucks. Let's see what we got. 334. Just as I suspected, they're much heavier. Now, with that being said, I think the weight, you don't know, you don't. I don't think you always need a heavy truck that weighs a bunch. Mine that weighs three, 
whatever, is one of my most capable ones. Jaunty, thank you for sending these. Compared to the Gladiator, you did a great job on this one. I see why you didn't use a bed, because you couldn't figure out how to use the correct wheelbase. At least without having a bed, this could be any wheelbase and it would still be fine, because you just need to line up with the front. Anyways, Jaunty, thank you for sending these. Thank you guys for watching. Peace!